Hello, this is Janos, it is Real World Audio, and I'm giving a report of an experience that I just had. I was listening to music, police, ghost in the machine, really amazing, amazing music, and really wonderful. Uh, it's, it's recorded uh, quite hot, but uh, there's the, the, the bass, oh my god, it's, it's just such subterranean, it's incredible, one of the most gorgeous recorded uh, basses ever, I think, and it's just, it's, it's phenomenal. So I was enjoying uh, Sting, and, uh, and suddenly what happened is almost like, uh, almost like I lost my hearing, that type of situation. Like from one moment to the next, the sound level dropped, all, almost like to one-tenth what it was a second before, and the, the bass disappeared, the weight disappeared completely. Hi, Machi. And uh, I think it wasn't just me hearing things, because Machi was listening uh, to Sting with me, and she looked at me like, what the hell is going on? That, that sort of uh, confusion in her face, like... Uh, she was listening to the music as well, intently, and then suddenly what's happening, where's the music? So it wasn't just me imagining things, <laughs> I have confirmation from Machi, and, uh, and uh, what I did first, I checked, okay, maybe, uh, you know, there's like, it, it picked up some dust, I was playing the long arm, and, and sure, it was really dusty, but it wasn't it. So I cleaned it, and I put on a different album, just for fun, you know. Vangelis Alpha, this is just... Ow! She is biting my, my foot. Machi, what are you doing? You see, she's very active. Look what she did. She tore that box apart completely. Totally, look. <laughs> That's her handiwork. And... Uh, and now she's biting my, my foot. Ah, anyway, going back to what's happening here. So I put on Alpha. This is, kind of, this is a cathartic album. And, and I put on and there was nothing happening. Like, you know, I put the volume up way high. It should have, you know, brought down the house. And I'm barely hearing anything. Like, whoa, what's going on here? And... Uh, and what is going on is that there was a, a sudden shift in the quality of the line AC. What the electricity coming from the wall suddenly shifted from decent to uh, utter absolute uh, garbage. And uh, how could I verify that? Well, I plugged in the Richard Gray which is uh, basically an inductor, two giant inductors inside a very heavy box. <laughs> Actually, the inductors are the very heavy things in, in the box. They make it heavy. And that somewhat restored the, the weight, restored the scale, and uh, made it listenable again, but not... In wow, what's happening to my focus here? But not, not at all how it was before, but rescued it partly. So what I have just experienced was the uh, worst episode I ever experienced in uh, power line collapse, basically. Uh, of all of us uh, audiophiles who have systems that allow you to hear what's going on with your room, what's going on with your AC in the power line, uh, they are not uh, something which is bad, which is worse than those that are immune to it. It's just a fact that uh, the more your system can uh, bring out, the more it will become sensitive to the fluctuations in the line AC. And if you think it's a, that's a bad thing, no, actually it's a, it's a double-edged sword, because yes, when the line AC is crappy, it will sound terrible. But when the line AC is fantastic, you will have experiences that you never ever have with systems that are totally immune to the power line. 
basic immunity to power line means that the the system is uh, creating its own operating conditions which are in a limited range so so you never get to experience uh, uh, really highs I mean the high points that a system could provide and uh, and of course uh, these fluctuations uh, happen when you have uh, when you outgrow a certain level of audio gear and you enter to the zone that um, that I would say it's like, a, like an intermediate level audiophile and beyond that's when these uh, power quality changes become uh, more and more noticeable to an extreme degree and uh, and and of course I just made this video because today what happened was the most extreme shift I ever experienced and this was to such a degree how much she is putting her look what she's doing she's biting she's putting her claws onto my socks <laughs> yeah so <laughs> but you cannot see that because her clothes are are in my ah on my foot so anyway that's an indication <laughs> that i've been talking too much and she needs a little bit more attention so basically uh that's it folks and thank you for tuning in have a wonderful day please like subscribe and spend more time with your cats bye bye